Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the County College of Morris's class of May 2021 pinning ceremony. My name is Crystal Watts, and I'll be the MC tonight. On behalf of my class, I want to say thank you to everyone joining us to share in this momentous occasion with us. We really could not have done this without all of your support and encouragement. So again, thank you. I'd like to introduce our first speaker tonight, County College of Morris President, Dr. Anthony Iacono. Well, good evening. It's, it's been a joy just scrolling through and watching the faces and the, the happiness for this evening's celebration, which it looks like is going to be absolutely wonderful and exciting. Uh, I see giant smiles from, uh, from CCM's Ruby Watts. I know it's ultra excited for her daughter, uh, to see her daughter, uh, Crystal, graduate. I see uh, Professor Laura Parker, who with our, along with our other faculty, works so hard for these students and really, really invest everything she has to help them be a success. I, I didn't see Autumn Smith, but I saw her beautiful German Shepherd. Um, that, that's pretty exciting. Even the dog is in on the fun tonight and ready to celebrate. Uh, Darnell and, and Mary King, and Mary King's smile was already just as, as big as possible, bursting with, with joy and pride. Uh, for her graduate, and then Zaneeb Akhtar, among our many, many students who I remember when she first came here. And uh, the, the only downside of a community college is students leave us too soon. Um, but that's successful. That's wonderful. So to all of our students and Zaneeb, um, it was great meeting when you first came to CCM, and here you are ready to launch your own career and move forward. So, um, so, so exciting. Uh, students, let me talk to you for a few minutes. You have worked so hard and you truly are a class like no other, indisputably like no other. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment, but I want you to know that you have had unbelievable support every step of the way. You see your faculty all the time. I, I believe in the absolute bottom of my heart all the way through, they are hands down the best nursing faculty in the state of New Jersey and across this country. Um, they are fiercely dedicated, they are extremely knowledgeable, and they have worked, uh, I believe, every, every bit as hard as you have, and in some cases, maybe even harder, doing everything to teach under, under very challenging uh, conditions. Nursing faculty are unlike nearly all other faculty in that um, their jobs are not limited to the classroom and the labs, that they involve clinicals, and that is an extraordinary amount of additional work and talent that goes with it as well. So to, the, to our faculty, I wanna say thank you. Um, this has certainly not been uh, an easy year, uh, but the enthusiasm you showed for these students, the belief that you, you, you demonstrated in these students and the hard work and creativity and educating them is a huge part of what got us all here today. So thank you um, year after year, but this year truly is a standout exception. Uh, students, you've got administrators here who work very hard behind the scenes to make sure the resources are in place for you to thrive. There are um, several board members. You're going to hear from our vice chair, uh, Jeff Advocate, shortly, but also uh, our board members, Trustee George Malonis, who's a CCM alum, and uh, Trustee Lauren and Ganimore are here with you as well. Students don't always see board members, but they make some of the biggest decisions at this college. Um, namely policy, and they are the heads of, of our finances. Uh, to a person, our board has always insisted they want to make sure that you are the priority, that you have what you need, and not something that's just uh, good, but that you've got the best resources possible to help you succeed. So know that you have had a huge chairing squad working hard behind the scenes and right alongside of you in our faculty, our administration, and our staff and our, and, uh, and our board members themselves. Naturally, your biggest cheerleaders, your supporters, and your first teachers um, and are here with you this evening. In many cases, those are your family and your friends as well. Um, long before you showed up at County College of Morris, these individuals um, may have inspired you, they encouraged you, they taught you, they supported you. So mom, dad, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, um, thumbs up and a round of applause to you also for the tremendous support that you've shown these students in one of the most difficult, rigorous programs anybody could ever go through. Um, we call you a class like no other, and there's a reason for that. Um, your conditions were very, very different than, than previous classes and what you had to go through. Um, while you were working to support other people's health during uh, one of America's greatest health crises in the past 150 years, you had to look after your own health while also uh, working through a, 
a grueling, rigorous program to be successful. Uh, that program itself is enough to work through, but to do it under these conditions only made the climb that much harder. At this point, you have to know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, if you could achieve this, you can literally achieve anything. At this point, there's nothing you can't do. You've probably been through the most difficult experience in your life. I used to say that today's students are tomorrow's heroes, but you're a class like no other. And the fact is, you are today's students and you are today's heroes as well. Um, you exemplified great courage and incredible dedication uh, in our classrooms and in your clinicals as well. I wanna thank you for that. Right alongside of our faculty, thank you. Morris County is safer, is healthier. Uh, people's lives were impacted because of what you did. Um, you are now ready and very close to embark on your careers. I know there's one big hurdle across and some of you may have already championed that, but you have, you have exams to take. Um, we usually say to our graduating classes, I saw a few smiles on that. People know that those exams are there. And we always tell our students, if we have a 100% pass rate on those exams, then we host a special dinner for you. And it does happen. Uh, I've seen it happen once in the nearly five years that I've been here, but it does happen. So students study, work hard. Um, health conditions are getting better. We'll be able to have events like we used to on the campus this fall. If we have 100% pass rate, we look forward to another celebration with you live in person, having a meal with you and celebrating you that way. So work hard. You never wanna be that one student. We don't want 99% and the one person missed it, okay? I love those dinners. So make sure that you work hard for so many reasons and, and, and more seriously because you've done it. Um, you're right there at the finish line. We want you to thrive on those exams and then get into your careers in earnest. Um, all of us who are here tonight have benefited from a great nurse at least once. And I think that it's really the combination of, of having a nurse who has knowledge, who has skill, but also the individual who has great compassion. Because when you see us, we're not always at our best. We may be cr uh, cranky, we may be uncomfortable, we may be in a severe health crisis. That in your careers, we know there will be times when you're welcoming life into the world, and there may be times when you're gently helping life out of this world. And in between all of that, we know that you will see and experience things that most of us never will. But I think the key ingredient in all of that is compassion. Um, it's the time that you take to talk to people, to comfort people, to hold the hand when necessary, to give the hug when necessary, and the reassurance. I know that that's been instilled in you from your professors here at CCM and from others that you may have worked with during your clinicals. But I hope that you'll keep that closest to your heart. Students, congratulations. We are so proud of you. We are truly CCM proud of you. You are absolutely amazing. Uh, I look forward to seeing how it goes. Uh, as, as I work with the hospitals and, and uh, clinics and doctor's offices, I frequently do run into our, our graduates, our alum. Uh, I am frequently told uh, anytime I encounter nurses and, and, and uh, hospital administrators and doctors at Morristown Medical Center and others that CCM students are the best and they get hired first because their skill set is absolutely exceptional. They're always preferred. More than half of the nurses in this county come from CCM. So I know I'll be seeing you. Uh, keep making us proud. Keep doing great things. Keep reaching for the stars. Your journey has only begun. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Iacono. Our next speaker for tonight will be Mr. Jeffrey Advocate, Vice Chair of the County College of Morris Board of Trustees. Thank you very much. And let me also extend our congratulations to you all on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Tonight, I'm not the only member of the Board of Trustees that's listening in. We have Trustee George Malonis and Trustee Lauren Ngadamort is also listening to the pinning ceremony and would like to extend your congratulations to you. And I want you to know that I've been on the board for almost 20 years. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is in those 20 years, I can tell you that the board of trustees has never once missed a pinning ceremony. And the reason for that is it's actually a secret. The secret is because, don't tell anybody, but we like this graduation ceremony much better 
than the full graduation ceremony at the end of May. I just wanted you all to know that. Um, I also would like to extend my hope that you all pass your upcoming tests because I'd like to get that free dinner that Dr. Iacono just promised everybody. So good luck to you all. I just wanna tell you one serious true story about becoming a nurse. My wife and I have two daughters who are in their mid twenties. And unfortunately I've been to the hospital. I don't even know how many times in my life. And I don't remember the doctors that I had and I don't remember the administrators that I had, but to this very day, I will never forget the nurses that we had when our daughters were born. And the reason why that's important to tell you right now is that I hope you never forget in your entire career that the patients that you help will never forget what you do for them. So congratulations, good luck, and I'm sure you will all have a wonderful career. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr. Advocate. Our next speaker tonight, who will also be presenting the DAISY Award for Faculty, Chairperson of the Nursing Department, Dr. Leslie Andrew. Hi, good evening, everyone. I think I'm gonna echo the remarks already made, but um, I think they're worth saying again. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Nursing Department, it's my pleasure to welcome everyone this evening as we celebrate our students. I do wanna take a moment to acknowledge and thank several people without whom these events wouldn't be happening. First, of course, the nursing department faculty and staff whose dedication to our students is unwavering. They routinely go above and beyond to ensure the students' success. Thank you, too, to the college administration and board of trustees for their ongoing support of our program. And although she's not with us this evening, I do want to acknowledge our former dean, Monica Maraska, for her many years of service and support. We extend our thanks to the pinning committee advisors, Lori Krupo and Dr. Vivek Agnihotri, and the student members of the pinning committee who planned this evening's activities and who are hosting this event. Thank you too to all of you, family and friends in our virtual audience. You encouraged your students every step of the way and without your steadfast support and encouragement, the students would not be celebrating tonight. Finally, and yet most importantly, I want to thank the students themselves and direct my next comments to them. Our program is a challenge in the best of times, and certainly during the last year and a half, conditions have been, we'll say, slightly less than the best. Despite this, you continued on undaunted. You trusted the faculty to guide you through the program and put forward your very best effort. You learned to be patient with yourselves, with each other and with faculty as you worked with new technology and new processes. You became more flexible with schedules and activities and more self-reliant in getting things done. You applied your imagination and creativity to complete assignments and persevered through it all to achieve your goal. We are all very proud of everything you've accomplished and wish you all the best. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to present the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nursing Faculty. The DAISY Foundation and DAISY Award were established by the family of a young man, Patrick Barnes, who passed away at the age of 33 from an autoimmune disease. Patrick's family was so awed by the compassion and care shown to Patrick by his nurses during his extended hospitalization that they created the DAISY Award as a way to thank them. In the 20 years since its inception, the DAISY Award has grown into an international recognition program for nurses. The awards have expanded to recognize nurses who practice in many settings, including education. As an astute DAISY Foundation board member pointed out, someone had to teach the nurses who cared for Patrick, and so the DAISY Faculty Award was created. It recognizes a faculty member who best exhibits the award criteria, including compassion, teaching excellence, and being an inspirational role model. 
This is the first time we are presenting this award. We received 17 nominations that were reviewed by three independent readers. The nomination for the honoree described her as dedicated, engaging, respectful of diversity, and stated that she truly embodies the compassion and connectedness that nurses and educators should strive for. I am so proud to announce that the Daisy Faculty Award honoree for spring 2021 is Professor Yuta Braun. Congratulations, Yuta. Thank you. I'm shocked, um, but thank you very much. This is a great honor. <laughs> yeah. It's a great honor, and I really appreciate um, the ability to take part in it. You're very welcome. I might be up. Just one second. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dr. Andrew, and of course, congratulations, Professor Braun. Thank you. Uh, now we're going to have the induction to the Alpha Delta Nu Honor Society, and Professor Jessica Shepard will be presenting the candidates. Good evening, everyone. I just want to say I'm really proud of all of you. To be accepted into the Organization for Associate Degree Nursing, National Honor Society, Alpha Delta Nu, students must show academic excellence throughout the nursing program by achieving grades of B, or better in every course. Honor Society inductees are recognized with PEACH honor cords and certificates of achievement. This semester, we are proud to induct the following students. Zaneeb Akhtar, Lee Alaka, Lauren Valdiga, Christopher Barry, Elizabeth Bausch, Victoria Cruz, Jordan D'Amour, Caitlin DeVray, Mary-Kate Fiola, Brian Geiger, Ashley Haynes, Tori Holler, Valentina Laborde, Angela Mamana, Riley Prano, Sarah Sadik, Shannon Salomon, Autumn Smith, and Crystal Watts. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. As you all know, or have heard, or could tell by the stress level we've all consistently been at for the past two years, this program is by no means easy. So that's definitely a great achievement. So next up is our faculty speaker. And this is a professor who was chosen twice for tonight by our class because of her kindness, her clear passion for teaching and her constant willingness to go above and beyond to support us, especially during the COVID semester. Most of this class did not actually even get to interact with her in person, but her loving and caring nature could always be felt even through the screen. Professor Yuta Braun. Crystal, you're gonna make me cry. So, all right, I have a couple of words that I want to address, um, you know, and a lot of them will be the things that I want to say may, may be things that you've already heard tonight, um, but I'm going to say them anyway. First, welcome to all the distinguished guests and administrators that are with us tonight. A warm welcome to the families, the significant others, and the special friends, and the warmest welcome of all to each member of the County College of Morris May 2021 Nursing Program graduating class. I am honored by the opportunity to share some thoughts with you. Now that you've reached the end of this absolutely crazy, chaotic nursing school journey, I'm sure you still have a lot of questions about your future, and I hope you add this one to your list. And that is, how can I help? Tonight, let's talk about humanness and helping. And I'll give you some background, things that I worry about a little bit, and I'm gonna pass um, some of those thoughts on to you. In some ways, um, nurses consider their definition as helpers to be old fashioned. We've become professional, educated, evidence-based, empowered, technical, and vocal. These are all good things, but sometimes I wonder if our education and technology is really all it's cracked up to be. When I go on to a hospital unit now, it's common to see most of the health professionals there, including the nurses, at a computer. 
The electronic health records, the EHRs, on those computers break a patient down into myriads of flow sheets that all need to be completed. Fall risks, assessment checkoffs, suicidality, meds to be given, vital signs. It's all of our part of our care for these patients. And too often, the assumption is when those flow sheets are checked off, our care is considered done. I'm not knocking technology, it's important. It can minimize errors in patient care and make sure every caregiver has access to the data needed to provide a patient's physical healing from disease. The EHR flow sheets can tell us about a patient's progress quickly, efficiently, and concretely, a far cry from the involved, hard to read narrative notes that I used to write when I was uh, in your shoes. Yes, graduates, the flow sheets are important and you'll have to be efficient and accurate about completing them. But what's missing in the flow sheets is the patient's humanness. Those elements that give our patients their unique identities, their meaning in their lives, their commonalities, their diversities, um, the humanness is our shared ability to love and have compassion and to be creative and to reach out. And this is where we can connect with our patients. Nurses, after all, are human too, a state we share with 7 billion other people on this earth. We are not so very different from our patients. We teach our patients, but our patients also teach us. They touch us. They add to our humanness. And I'm gonna go off script here. And I, I wanna tell you all the class of um, 2021 that you have taught me a great deal. And I welcome everything um, that I was taught by you. So the patients um, we, we reach, they reach us as well. They add to our humanness. Their story enriches our story. That human in the bed is very much like the nurse human standing next to the bed. Yes, we have special skills, technology, and knowledge, but our humanness is the bridge that connects us to each other. Society exists because humans help each other. As you go out into the beleaguered healthcare world, always remember, you know this, you just have to remember that your patient is so much more than numbers on a chart, just as you are so much more than a technologist and a computer operator. Recognizing your shared ordinary humanness will help you to be the helper that your patient needs. So let's get back to that first question. How can I help? Ram Das's book by this title provided some of the ideas for this topic. When you come right down with, to it, the act of helping may actually be the most important characteristic in nursing, and it's already been discussed. It might be the easiest as well. After all, you've been helping all your life. Let's talk about some of the things you do and you can do to help. Helping is listening. Hear what your patient is saying. Remember all that therapeutic communication you learned, it ultimately doesn't matter whether you use the, the correct techniques all the time. What matters is that your patient feels heard. Richardson says, people start to heal the minute they feel heard. Helping is also seeing, seeing beyond the disheveled hair, the wrinkled skin, skin, the garbled angry words, and seeing the beloved grandmother, the decorated war hero, the artist or the inventor who is now powerless and scared to death, facing the most serious challenge of their life. When you see value in the human in the bed, perspectives change, connections can be made and helping can be accomplished. Helping is being with your patient. The amount of time spent with patients isn't as relevant as your attentiveness, several studies have found. In examining patients' perceptions of time spent by healthcare providers in their hospital rooms, patients consistently overestimated the amount of time their providers were with them when the provider sat down and underestimated the time when the provider stood. Face it, nurses always look like they're in a hurry. Master the art of not looking hurried, relax take a deep breath, make eye contact. And always helping is keeping your promises. We talked about that in PEDS all the time. Don't make promises that you can't keep. Trust is developed in this, trust developed in this way also increases that connection, the bond between the human next to the bed and the human in it. Helping's not always easy. There are times when it's literally thankless. You do so much 
and no one notices, or some even criticize. You're not appreciated. It can suck the joy right out of you if you let it. Helping may seem overwhelming, especially when it doesn't seem to be working. Remember, it's okay to step back. Give yourself your own pat on the back. Reconsider if there's a better way to help and ask for help in helping. Remember that you are human and that's okay. As humans, we can enjoy a couple of benefits from helping. One of them is very concrete. Tanya Jajal says, when we help others, our brains release oxytocin, serotonin, and dopamine. Those should sound familiar. Those hormones have the effect of boosting our mood and counteract the effect of cortisol, which is the stress hormone. Another benefit of helping comes back to sharing of humanness between nurses and our patients. In one of my clinicals a long, long time ago, we cared for a 96 year old woman. At the end of the evening, this wise and very talented patient handed her 20 year old student a poem that she had written that evening to thank her for her care. The student was visibly touched by this gift. It was an awesome sharing between two special human beings in a special moment of time, and I'll never forget it. Graduates, I encourage you to embrace your humanness. Be helpers. No, that doesn't make you any less of a nurse. It'll make you more of a nurse. And no, don't ever forget that professionalism, evidence, and technology are important. They're very important. But make that human in the bed the first priority. Reach out to one human, one family, one community at a time, helping each one to build the most meaningful life possible. Let your humanness intersect with and enrich each other. Be patient with yourselves if helping doesn't go as expected. Be open to receiving help yourselves from each other and sometimes even from your patients, but don't stop helping. You will be richly rewarded. And with that, I'll wrap up. So congratulations, graduates, you did a great job. On behalf of the CCM nursing faculty, I welcome you to this helping profession. I look forward to helping right alongside of you. Thank you. I almost forgot to mute myself, I was trying to clap. Thank you, Professor Ron, that was so sweet as always. <laughs> So now we're gonna move on to our graduate address given by our student speaker, someone who was also chosen by the class. She has been an inspiration to all of us and a constant source of positivity through everything. That's our student speaker, Lee Alaka. Hi, wow, thank you, Crystal. That was really nice. Um, Thank you all for being here tonight. I'm gonna to try and get through this with as little tears as possible. It's been some journey. Good evening to everyone. I would like to thank you all so much for joining us and celebrating this incredible group of individuals that I am honored to call my classmates. Some of my classmates I may not have personally met, but I might have seen your face on a Zoom or two or possibly a hundred. But whether our paths have crossed or not, firstly, I wanna start by saying, I am so very proud of each and every one of you. I'm proud to stand beside you to celebrate with you such an incredible accomplishment. It seems like yesterday that we were all nervously walking in to the Student Center Conference Room for the first time, beginning this crazy season of life we call nursing school. We were told to warn our loved ones to understand that this is no small undertaking, that this would be really intense and consuming. It was. I don't know about you all, but I actually felt like it seemed impossible that day. There was no way I could get through maybe even one week of what was being described to us, let alone four semesters. Yet with all that panic and feelings of being completely overwhelmed, we took that first step forward, remembering why we were there in the first place, remembering we were following a dream. At that moment and that first step into the new season of our lives, we committed ourselves to the dream and to this program. We instantly became a community of people from so many different backgrounds, having so many diverse situations in life, to being all a bunch of nursing one students, hungry to make a difference in this world and devoted to our goal. We all have had our personal struggles throughout this season. Some may have been little bumps in the road, some may have been roadblocks, but at the end of the day, not one was more important than the other. 
We all had our separate lives that we were trying to keep afloat and survive and just manage. We all had our, I said that. Taking it all one day at a time was how we got through. One nursing care plan at a time, one exam at a time, one lecture, working our way through the nursing process over and over again. This all seemed so tedious at the time, but was all part of the process to get us here today. I can't believe the strength I have seen in all of you. How with every struggle each of us was experiencing, whether in our personal life or academically related, we were all there for each other in such a special and meaningful way. We carried each other through without even thinking twice about it. Well, let me tell you all, that is what this world needs. The kindness and the outpouring of compassion we showed each other is just a preview of what we will be offering to our patients and to the kind of nurses we will be. Every late night study session, every pit in the bottom of our stomachs, countless times each semester, as we would sit for the next exam, praying we got a passing grade and would keep progressing through this intense program was all worth it in the end. Sweating our way through each math exam, countless lab hours practicing for our skills testing because we knew this could end it all for us. <clears throat> Just when life seemed hard enough and nearly impossible, the world got hit with a pandemic that would change our lives forever. How we got through it honestly is beyond me. But the point is, we did it. We have become part of history and will always remember that day the world shut down, how we were trying to become one of the essential people in the world that would get us through this disaster. The endless Zooms, paper plate catheterizations, those were a great time. Head to toe assessments on family members, trying to learn and retain information through a computer screen rather than real life interactions was a challenge to say the very least. The relationships created, friendships and bonds and the insane amount of knowledge gained are things we will cherish always. And that will continue on into the next season of our life for sure. To our amazing professors, um, we were privileged to have worked with these, I'm sorry, to our amazing professors, we were privileged to have worked with these past two years. Thank you so very much for never giving up on us, pushing us to our absolute limits to achieve our goals. Thank you for all you did so we could stand here today in this very moment, becoming the people we were just dreaming of becoming. Thanks for the impossible exams that made us better, work harder, study more. You showed us tough love and really what it takes to be the best RNs we could be. You pushed us and believed in us even when we didn't believe in ourselves. You supported us and carefully molded us into the nurses we are today. Through your example, we learned and understood that nursing is not just a job and a paycheck. It is making a difference in the world and taking care of people at their darkest moments with empathy and compassion. It is patient-centered care, being your patient's biggest advocate, keeping them safe, forming the therapeutic relationship that makes all the difference. It is never giving up on your patients, being there by their side and nursing them back to health. It is allowing them to feel dignity and comfort. And if the prognosis doesn't seem very good, it is holding their hand and getting them through whatever is to come. By letting them know that you are there, they are not alone and that you care. We were taught from day one, a gentle touch and eye contact goes a long way. Even though it is almost impossible to juggle all of the responsibilities we will have in a shift, taking that one moment and pausing to show the patient they matter most is what it takes. Lastly, if you don't document it, it didn't happen. I know we will never forget this. Professors, you truly believed in us. And as we have also believed so hard in each other, and now we need to go out there and believe in ourselves. Fellow graduates, Go out there and be the remarkable nurses I have had the privilege of watching you become. Be that nurse that you admired and looked up to in clinical. Be that clinical instructor that really helped to make you what you have become. I wish you all the very best life has to offer and long fulfilling nursing careers. Most importantly though, is to make a difference in this world by truly caring for your patients, being genuine, being present, being kind. You, May you always listen to that voice inside you. It usually knows what it's talking about. Take care of your patients with your whole heart. Brighten up the days of those you care for. A gentle touch, sympathetic, sincere gesture goes a long way. I have watched you all evolve throughout this program from the nervous first semester students into the strongest, 
kindest, most compassionate and dedicated people I have ever known. I believe so much in you and thank you so much for believing in me. Finally, I would like to thank our family and friends who literally carried us through. You picked us up countless times. You helped us stand on our own two feet when we literally felt we couldn't muster up enough energy for the next day of nursing school. You're such, you're such a part of us standing here today and please know how much we appreciate and how much you mean to us. Congratulations, you all have the most special place in my heart always. Thank you, Lee. I'm having a hard time recovering after that one. That was wonderful. Thank you again. Um, now the moment that we have all worked so very hard for, I'd like to introduce our wonderful and dedicated lab coordinator, Professor Lori Krupa. Uh, good evening. Thank you again, um, Crystal. Um, Crystal and Joanna Helms, Crystal watched Johanna Helms uh, very bravely um, stepped up to the job of assisting in this wonderful pinning cer ceremony tonight. And uh, you're doing a great job with the technology also. So I am learning and will continue to learn from my students and graduates. Um, everyone in the audience, my, stu my student graduates and their families, um, please get your pins ready. Um, you won't be seeing my face too much. Uh, we'll, we'll be spotlighting you. Um, our honorees for Honor Society, you can be wearing your apricot cords, cords and your significant other and family members uh, pin you this evening. I have the great honor of presenting the candidates of the nursing class of May 2021. And our first candidate will be spotlighted. Rachel Ackerman. Families, you can, um, that are being pinned, you can unmute yourself. We love to hear the cheers and, and the excitement. Whoop, whoop. Congrats, Joanna. Yes, yeah, Joanna, I love you. Congratulations. Congratulations, okay. Dia Joanna. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations. You probably give that up a little bit. Um, okay, Daniela Agudella. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sanid Akhtar. Woo! You guys let up! Woo! Amanda Almeida. So sick! Woo! 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 Hey, Samantha! I'm so proud of you! You are so hot, Mama. There you go, Samantha. Be a locker. Hey, Lee. Good job, Lee. I love my Great mom. Great job. So congratulations, Lee. Hello, love little you. girl. Great speech. Hi, Shannon. Hi. <laughs> Lauren Baldiga. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren. Elizabeth Bass. 
Joshua Bukor. Congratulations, Josh. You're the best. Good yeah, Josh. Josh. Go, Josh. Yes. Gabrielle Kapka. Woo, Gabby! Susanna Carlson. Yes, Susanna. Yes, Susanna. Yes, 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 Samantha Catano. Yes. Congratulations, Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Victoria Blair Cruz. Thank you. Thank you. That's for both of 
us, Professor Shepard. <laughs> Let's go. Congrats, Makar. I'm so proud of you, bro. Let's go. Let's go. We made it. Started from the bottom. Now we here. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 Hey, Ashley. Congratulations. Joanna, tell me. There you go, Tia. Congratulations. Congratulations, Valentina. Sarah Laird. Go, Sarah. Yes, yeah, Sarah. 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 Oh, 
Yeah, Julia! Yeah, Julia! <laughs> yeah, Julia! <laughs> All right, Julia! Good, you. I just want to take one moment. We actually skipped over Antoinette Kerbas. So if we could go back to Tony, we skipped over her in the face. Just one All second, Tara. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony! Yeah, Tony! Tony! Yeah. Awesome. Tony. Yeah, oh, Tony! Oh, yeah! Tony. <laughs> Look at that beard! Thank you! Love you it. Oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry! <laughs> That's okay! Congratulations! Congrats, everyone! Right. You look adorable! Got your spot! Thank <laughs> you! Good job! Tara <laughs> Perez! Yay, yeah. Good team. Yeah. Woo. So proud, yeah. baby. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, Riley. Woo! That's my best friend. Yeah, Riley. Ryan Kato. Woo! Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Veronica Pilladraw. Woo! Go, Veronica. Get ready, Veronica. Woo! Annie Ray. Good job, Annie. Yeah, Annie. Sarah Sudik. Woo! Go, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Woo! I have the same decoration as you. Oh, Sarah, congratulations. Oh, Sarah. Sarah Salamoni. Yes. 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 Shannon. All the kids come in. I love y'all. <laughs> <Autumn. laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, 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 Trina Snyder. Trina. 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 <laughs> Brittany Thomas. Let's go, Brittany. Yeah, yeah, Brittany. Okay. Get in the bus. Get in the bus. Mackenzie Thomas. Go, Mackenzie. That's my man. Yeah. Daniel Velota. everyone. Um, now we're going to have the reading of the Nightingale Pledge. 
The Nightingale Pledge is named in honor of Florence Nightingale and it is recited during pinning ceremonies to signify publicly the importance of the role that we as graduate nurses are about to assume. I'd like to invite the graduating class as well as any nurses in attendance to read along from page four of the program as Joanna Helms and I recite the pledge aloud. and the pledge. I pledge in the presence of this assembly to all my power to make Okay, wonderful. There was a lot of voices so that was really nice to hear. Um, before we end the program, I'd like to read the special thanks that was written by the pinning committee on behalf of our class for everyone that is here in attendance. The special thanks says, the graduating class of May 2021 would like to express our sincere gratitude to our family, friends, and loved ones for their unwavering support and encouragement throughout our nursing school journey. It takes a village, and we are so thankful for everything that you have done to help us get through school successfully, sanely, that's up for debate, and in one piece. It is an honor to share this moment with all of you. To our amazing clinical instructors, professors, faculty advisors, and lab coordinators, Thank you for sharing your knowledge, professional experience, and for always being there. We appreciate all that you have taught us and are grateful for your guidance. Thank you for helping us construct the foundation on which to build our nursing careers. As we end one chapter and move on to the next, we aspire to become the nurses of whom we can be proud. Another special thanks to Dr. Leslie Andrew, John Hester, our advisors in the CCM print shop, especially Teresa Garrick, for your assistance with our virtual pinning. It would not have been possible without all of your support. And again, Professor Krupo and Dr. Agnihotri, all the emails and back and forth. I really appreciate it. We were very nervous, but everything's been beautiful. So this now concludes the class of May 2021's pinning ceremony. Again, thank you all so much for coming. And, but please feel free to stay and watch a compilation of some of the more candid behind the scenes photos that we've all taken together through our nursing student careers. Thanks again. <laughs>